Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to uh, Bad North Yoden Edition. Oops. Hey. Oops. So I restarted uh, in easy mode. Start to got. I, I, I have more commanders now. So now I can go to Weestray. Um, this is fine. Maybe it's West Ray. So I'm starting to get a little more into it. I do really like how this game plays. Oh Lord. Ooh. Are those guys different? They look different. Yeah, they have different shaped shields. I don't know if that means that they're better. Better North Yoten Edition. I could just have um, you guys stand, actually. Let's do that. Let's have you guys... Since I just got you, that's Commander Gareth. You guys stay there and guard the archers. And the big house. Or just stand somewhere and reinforce. Oh, they're axe throwers, I see. So yes, they are upgraded. Back to here. See, the game really does like force you to think really hard about who you're bringing where, what they're doing, that sort of thing. It also has a very clean, pleasant looking art style. Um, and it's very much based on its own logic. It's very, very solid. I'm glad I bought it. Get you guys a little closer. And you just reinforce them. So yeah, tell me final wave. That might be the final wave. We'll see. So yeah, I'm going to stick closer to a lot of the houses as well. Oh boy. 18 axe throwers. Conan say. Right, let's do a little rest since we only have two guys. Um, there's a question mark here, but because I'm on easy mode, that flows a lot slower. So you know what? Let's head to the question mark. Uh, yeah, this is a good unit. Ooh, it's all rainy. That's cool. So no one can land here. Some people can land here. Come in here. There we go. Yeah, I really love the look of the little Vikings that you control and the look of the Jotun. Ooh, that was a good one. That poor boat has one guy in it. We got axe throwers coming in here. So yeah, you stance up. Oh boy. You go deal with that. You reinforce them. You've got shields at least. You guys can deal with three Odin in one boat. Okay, that problem is done. This unit should handle it neatly. And we can leave these guys to get ready for this big old, big old group. Get on that side, actually. And you stand there. I love the little paths that they all follow. The um, terrain generation in this game is very, very well done. I really like it. It makes these very cute looking islands. I feel like I could pick up and play with this, you know? You guys there. You guys there. 
you go heal, but go heal in that house specifically. Yeah, the little ways that all of these little pegmen go run around on their little islands is really cool. I like it a lot. This is a, it's a very simple game. Just, you know, point and click, tell you guys where they're headed. But that's kind of to its credit. Uh-oh. You guys aren't going to do be much help there. Since they have shields, so you can't shoot them. So you whittle those guys down. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. And see, this is just cool. Having to split all of your guys across an island, you know, to defend everything is really, really fun. This is, this is cool. And then these weaker guys are flanked by the guys with the border shields. Retreat, actually. Woo! Norse Bane. Wait, so am I playing as the Jotun? Man, look at that. Interesting. So I guess that's what the mystery item was. Okay. Let's go to Kononse. Banners with a white background will unlock new starting trades. Interesting. Actually, we've got we've got stuff, so let's put some points in here. What does this do? Can be placed on the ground, triggering a powerful explosion. Eh, that's cool, but I don't really need it. Uh, let's give it to you though. Um, and then who needs an upgrade? You will have upgrades. Um, let's give you an upgrade. Yeah, that's, that's all. That all looks good. Okay. And now you're of equal strength with your fellows. So they can land here. Okay, so you guys. Yeah, you can deal with that no problem. They're unshielded, so the arrows will pick them off before they get to you. And then these guys can deal with these shield warriors. Oh, wow. Red guys stood up and were like, yeah, let's, oh. Right. Next is this. All right. A lot of reinforcements. Oh yeah, in addition to easy mode being a mode in and of itself, you can also just select the option to make it so you can restart levels. Dickheads. Oh boy. That's a lot of it. This reminds me of like, this, this might be a weird pull, but this reminds me of like the intro of like a DreamWorks animated movie or like a dream sequence, you know? Like you remember in Prince of Egypt where there's that weird uh, dream sequence that's all animated with shitty CG, but it looks like hieroglyphs, so it's pretty cool actually. That's what this reminds me of. Like this would be a DreamWorks animated Norse movie. Like how to train your dragon, I guess. Right, I get the sense that this is just going to soften me up for another volley of troops coming in from somewhere else. Actually, can any of you heal? You need to heal. So you go in there and reinforce them and you stand behind them. Oh, and I was right. It was supposed to soften me up. Oh, crap. You stand there. You stand there. You reinforce there. I 
I like melee um, tactics games more than ranged ones. It's one reason why I haven't gone back to XCOM in a little while. Uh, just because I have less interest in it because it's based around shooting stuff instead of hitting things with a sword. And I'm aware that a shotgun is essentially a melee skill in the future. And that in the sequel there's actually swords, but like, I want them to be better. You know? Okay, cool. Um, hmm. Let's get that, I guess. Let's next turn it. Let's go there. Deploy. So luckily, there's not too much, too many places where they can even come from. Just this area out here. That's a bunch of normal guys. Actually, go reinforce them. They'll need the firepower. I love the way that they, they walk. You see how, how they split? That was so cool and whimsical. Hey, asshole. For goodness sake. Okay. Okay. Like that. I like that. Okay, cool. Yeah, I've got my finger on the pulse of uh, making sure I let guys restore buff back up, you know? Get him. Where's the next guy's coming from? See, there's not like a helpful arrow or something to point out where the next uh, complement of troops is going to come from. So I feel like I always have to be spinning the camera to see it. Which is unfortunate because then it means I miss cool fights. Even if it is just my little guys plinking away at each other. All right, final one. Oh boy. Um, you go here. You help them. You go. You there. You guys actually stand there. They have taken no damage. He's taken damage, but he's okay. He's my toughest guy, and he's got an archer with him. And when these guys finish up, we can just send them to go reinforce and help. Really, guys? There we go. Look at that. Easy money. Six gold. Sixty-eight. So there were sixty-nine Yoden in that level. Nice. Bjornholm. Okay. Let's go right in. Let's keep going, you know? Got to get on through. Okay, Devin, Kenna, Merlin. Oh, yeah, that's all. So most of this side is... This side is pretty much gone. A chunk of this side is, too. Like, it has such a simple art style, and it really works. Okay, cool, cool. You help them. What's coming in this? More archers? 
And the look of some of the soldiers is just so austere and, like, scary, you know? Coming up to that little peninsula. Reinforce. Just in case. Oh gosh. Okay, you guys ride in. You go fight them, because spears will defeat shields, and then the shields will defeat arrows. And luckily, these guys got out in time to help. That's good. Look at that. Not bad at all. You go there. You reinforce. Oh boy. How about you actually go help out with these guys? I want to see what the mine does in a vacuum. I don't want to be distracted by what the mine, by what other soldiers might be doing around it. And I put it on the wrong square, so that's fun. You go uh, replenish. Oh, this could be trouble. Ooh, they're gonna land on the mine, I think. Run away. Fuck. All right. Restart the level, huh? I've got time and I don't want to lose guys. So, it's coward time. I've got better dudes now though, so. I'm, I'm having trouble finding uses for pike, pikemen. I imagine it's possible that they're good. I just can't really find a really good use for them. They're good at killing the brutes. And shieldmen, but shieldmen seem really uncommon. Maybe it's just this seed that I've got. We'll buff them up. Cool. I like all that. Sorry, carpal tunnel. I just realized I made the jerk off motion. I just wanted to shake my arm to demonstrate that my wrist is the issue. But, um, whoops. I think this is a good stance, good way to be meeting. All right, let's party. Oh, hey guys, really? Why do they do that? They, they don't, sometimes they just like stay where they're told to. And that makes sense. I told you to stand there, you stand there. You know, that makes perfect sense. But they also will do things where they go stand somewhere else to be like, you know, to go help someone else fight. And the, the, when they do one thing and when they do another thing isn't always very clear. Something that could be, um, improved a little perhaps. All right. Man, this is this is quite the fortification here.
Oh, just a big old cloud of blood. Right, who needs... Virgil, I will admit, you are more important to me. Might have been a bad time. Actually, wait. Let's see how this plays out. Okay, cool, cool. They're shooting those guys, soften them up. Come reinforce here. Nice! Also, I want to imagine how awful the scream of someone dying is. Like, they're like, oh! Like, it's like a Dark Souls boss, you know? Specifically, Artorius of the Abyss. Just, it sounds so gnarly. Alright. Fraggle. Were these named uh, via Kickstarter, you think? Let's give you an upgrade. Hey. Hey. All right, let's try that. Let's see if they can make that one. Okay. Hep, bit, come on. There they are. Oh, look at that. That was nice. I wanted to switch these guys' position, and they, they did it very neatly. That was useful. Especially considering I want pikemen to fight these dudes. Hey, look at that. Yeah, and you need to give pikemen the time to actually, like, stance up. Because otherwise... Uh-oh. Okay. Pikemen, go. Sorry, a little shuffle here. Alright, hopefully this won't cause any... Uh-oh. Crap. Quickly, go! Oh, that was cool. It took out some guys. Take care of those. Okay. Doing good, doing good. You could use replenish, but that's okay. These battles are a lot tenser because I don't feel like I have my really like good solid guys. Okay. I feel like they can handle that easy. This one I'm gonna need I'm gonna need to split my eyes here. Dude. Okay. You go. <laughs> uh, yeah, you retreat and you replenish far, far away from the rest of them. Okay, meanwhile, you both could use a little healing, but we don't. That's a luxury. Time is a luxury we do not have for you. All right. Not bad, not bad. And the seven to the pocket. Yowza. 38 guys. And we got Salt Home and Rase. I don't like either of these. Let's do a little wait. Okay. Yeah, let's go with you. Yeah, 
Okay, this bit is a little fine because they can't land there properly. This bit and this bit are a little better because they can't land their property. But like, I have this whole corner. I have this whole corner. I have this. I have this. This whole strip of land. Ooh. Playing Viking Monopoly. Get him, boys. See them approaching from here, so let's fortify up. Not to give shade to this game, but it makes me think of XCOM and Banner Saga a lot. I'm like, those are good games. But they're also turn-based, which this isn't. I think it's just because it makes me feel like XCOM, and it looks like Banner... Well, it has the same visual origin as Banner Saga. That guy's such a coward. Get in there. Next. And in this corner. I wonder how long this game goes. I always like games that have an end. Like um, the original Oregon Trail, a proper Slay the Spire, you know, a roguelike that has a end. Those are always good. But I also do like ones where they have an end and then give an optional... Um, Endless mode. Got two boats of archers. Those we have archers to fight the archers and shields to counter. And here we just have a bunch of shields to counter. Double the shields. Really, guys? Yeah, see, they do that. They retreat and they back away. And they totally, totally leave it open for them to run away and go burn houses. All right. Dude, that guy has two axes sticking out of his shield. That's radical. That dude is a champ. Nice. Right, we've got hostiles. All right, cool. Let's move you there. Then you're flanked by these rocks. And it's harder to be flanked by, you know, men. Whoa! That was like an axe explosion. That was cool. All right. Not bad at all. It's a lot easier when I have my, my good guys working for me. Cool. Okay. Skolkholm. Let's see if we can give you, um, let's give you an upgrade to make your shields tougher. And then this only has these guys. Um, hmm. Okay. Yeah, that tooltip said uh, the large Viking brutes pack a punch. Interesting. So yeah, those are Vikings. So are we, Yoden? I guess it would make sense considering that Yoden are usually referred to as having blue skin. Since, you know, they're like frost giants. You help them out. They have way more. They're gonna need the help. Alright. Cool. 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 Okay, cool. Let's try this, huh? The 
This could be bad. Oh god, they can't mobilize. Help them. Pike charge is really hard to get going properly. Jeez, that was kind of embarrassing. There's only so much you can do on your first time ever using an attack. There, that'll be fine. Still on cooldown. Okay. So you poke him. Oh wow, that's a big old bloody mess. Guys, there's a firebomb throwing Viking right there. That's what I'm talking about, man. Sometimes they just let it slide. They really gotta have, like, a more no... They need a zero-tolerance policy. Okay, cool. It tells you when it's up as well. That's useful. That's cool. Okay. I see how it, I see how it can work now. You gotta have guys to, like, flank them out, though. That'll give us 20 coins. That'll... Alright. Fraggle is cut off, so I'm going to uh, avoid it. Or next time we'll get 20 coins, rather. Right, next turn. Now we do this. And Fianna is an archer as well, so let's put in Merlin. Try to use him again. This corner is blocked off. This corner is blocked off too. So all we need to worry about is this beach, actually. So, yeah, you just go stand there, my mans. <laughs> Dude, I just got it. That was a really cool moment of just like, they're all coming in. Like, that was kind of rad. Okay. Shield man's. Okay. These guys have a lot more going on over here, but that's okay. That's fine. <laughs> they don't really all fit up there exactly, but that's fine. You go help them. Yeah, I love the islands where it's just a f straight line. Like, I know that's so not what this game is about. This game is supposed to be about dashing all around this island to try to reinforce and make sure that your homes all survive. But it is so nice and easy when you just have to worry about regular old straight lines. And look, the houses are all up here. We could wait for them to come to us. We would be fine. Okay. A lot of archers. You need to go replenish. Oh boy. Okay. It's very eerie to see all the boats come out of the mist. Kind of cool, but very, very spooky. Good effect, though. I can definitely see what they're going for. Like, you can almost hear Misty Mountain start to play. Okay. Okay. How are you guys doing? You're back up. You get down here, help with that. You replenish. Okay. You deal with the with those guys, and you won't actually be able to help because of their shields. So you just help with the archers. And they'll also help with the archers. Cool. 
cool. Dude, that guy, that guy is the 300 Spartans. He's all of them. All 300. Alright, those are two full units I've got now. Fianna of the Mountain. A giant commander. Not exactly worthwhile that you're a giant when you're a, uh, you know, man of regular, of archery. Okay. So I wanted to see if it would work. Um, and then we have all swordsmen's. Next up is Swoon Scary after our Scarba. This one's another nice one. Just this line and a little bit of this line. That's nice and easy. So archers stay up there. You guys come fortify the beach. Cool. The, even if they land there, they'll get cornered. We can't come in any closer. And those are shieldmen, so the sh arrows won't actually work that much. All right, you keep those guys locked down, and you go to help. We'll wait for the next group of ships to come in. It's a very interesting roguelike, because normally this is something where you would have, like, much more of a campaign with uh, more obvious algorithms to put things in order. Oh, boy. You go heal. Good to keep him full, you know? You're at full health. And I think you are too, actually. So actually, you go here. God, look at how red the beach is. That's so gnarly. But very cool and appreciated as well, actually. They'll have to get through them now to get back up there to get to the archers. Help them out. Ooh, that guy got knocked back. Cool. I guess that's the, uh, the heavy weapons perk that this guy has. Two big long ships. All right, it's not so bad. It's fine. It's good. Now we got a bit of a problem. A boat full of problems, in fact. Devon, replenish. There's not a lot on this island now that I notice it. I guess that might be why it's so easy, but there's only one house. And it's a big house, so I'm probably going to get three gold for it. But I think that's all I'm going to get for the entire island. Look at that. Yeah, three for the whole island. But that's fine. It was pretty simple. You know, just a line. Lucky for me, we've got this now. So let's... Malmo. <laughs> oh, these are how many people have been killed in their unit, per se. Okay. Let's buff you. Wow. Nice. Yeah, you're coming to Swoon Scary, man. Henrietta, Virgil. That's 
fine, but Merlin needs to be an upgraded class in some variety. Uh, and let's go with Gareth, because he has a perk. And there's a new question mark. This is a shitty island. Oh my god, there's no cover or anything. Oh boy. This is a flat rock. You'd think all the houses would have gotten washed away. Or maybe, is there lore? Could there be lore about the islands not even getting washed away because the sea only just rose? That might be cool. Get back here. Oh my god. Uh oh. Okay. Okay. Help them. Now you help them. You replenish. A lot of boats coming in from here. A lot of boats, a lot of boats. Where are all these boats coming from? I thought this stuff was in the north, and we're presumably heading south. Like, the bad north? Like, the game? Oh, man. This is gonna be good. Oh, look at how rad they look! They look like paladins! I saw an interesting, um... piece of art today that demonstrate visually demonstrated the difference between high and low fantasy. Where high fantasy is the huge armor and the big pauldrons and straps and belts and spikes and, you know, huge cool crotch pieces. Whereas low fantasy has form-fitting armor. It's a lot more simple. Uh, and notably has an open crotch specifically so that they can ride a horse easier since horses are a uh, big definer of you know, military power. Like, apparently the stirrup might have been the most important invention in military history of, like, of all time. Of all of them. Where's the next guy's coming from? I think they're landing there. Uh, no, they're going to the peninsula. So you head there instead. Actually, you head there. You come here. Cool, cool. It's all good. Nice. You restock. What about you? You're good. What about you? Invincible. You replenish as well. Henrietta, you're tough as hell. Oh my god, those are super archers. That sucks. You help there. Because even though they're super archers, they're still archers. Oh boy. Yowzas. Oh look, they turtle up. That's that's good. That's what you're supposed to do. Oh my god. Man. Brutal. But we did it though. And that's a lot of money. Oh, what a windfall. Nine in a checkpoint. Ah, oh, they have little things on their head. That's cute. Checkpoint reached. 
So it said last time I got 41% of the way through. Hmm. One, two. One, two, three. Let's take it. Gweltig. Oh, this one's also awful. Ugh, fine. It's kind of a small island as well, actually. Which I guess isn't a terrible thing. Oh, and it's night. Is the fall close to me? I think it is. That's an interesting uh, wrench to throw into the plans. Oh, this is cool. This, I, I feel like I'm in a Lord of the Rings, you know? Like, this is... It, it looks nothing like it, but this is my Helm's Deep. You know what I mean? Little battle of five armies going on, you know? Cool. Okay, okay. Use that house's cover. Uh, I notice we're also getting more houses, which means more money per, you know, per fight. Which is good. I like that. Fight him on the beaches. Come on, get in there. Oh my god. Oh Jesus. Come on. Odin be with us. Okay. Okay. Crap. God, this is so extreme. Okay, cool, cool. Uh, oh, their shield's blocked at all. That's good. That's awesome, in fact. Final wave incoming. Man, dude, if the if the brute archers can just turtle up, they are really hard to deal with. It's a bad time to have there are no cats in America stuck in my head. I don't know why that's in there. Not a shieldman. God, he got the snow in the air and the night. Snow at night is such a cool look. I wish people would use it for more movies and stuff, but, like, no one does. Okay. You need a little more. Get in there. Oh, God, they can't mobilize. I hate that. Oh, that's such a, that's such a crippling thing for them. Cold Steel and Night Watch. Cool. 67. Wow. Yeah, you regularly go through like 70 guys at a time. How, how long does it go, man? Okay. Big Isle. We've got a spear guy. Let's try it with just all my toughest swordsmans. He's like Egil. I 
Oh, it was snowing last level, and it's snowing again this one. Oh god, oh god. Oh my god, really? I'm... I'm under attack by a trident, man. This is a three-pronged attack. And of course they're going there, not where I actually fortified. Okay, they're gonna land first. Okay. Come on, man. Okay, there's that one. Okay, okay. Do it, guys. be much faster than like you oh oh you're useless aldrich I really don't like Spearmint. They're cool, but they're kind of hard to utilize properly. Come on, guys. Okay, one boat of archers. That should be fine. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, then you go help out those guys with the brute archers. Okay. Sorry, making sure that I'm in frame. Oh, jeez. Okay, where's the next one coming from? You guys. What are you? Archers. Of course. Cool. Could use the spearmen for what they're built for. That guy's level one and that girl's level three. Whereas these guys are both level two. So we have essentially, you know, four levels of stuff. Actually, I think this side needs it more. I'm going to trust you, Aldrich. This is your home. Don't fail them. Okay, cool, cool. No, get in there. Just a spearman stuck in my party to make me be wary of a boat full of archers. Okay. Let's move you here. And you know what? Let's move you here as well. Do you know have shields, guys? Oh, crap. Get him in there.
Uh, guys. They just kind of let him go sometimes, you know? Jeez. I can still spin it. That's cool. All right, now the seven to the board. Oh. I didn't notice that there was a different one. Rousing speeches, huh? What good does that do me? Quicker replenish. Oh. Get you in there, Kenna. Um, hmm. Man. So I started this in the middle of my of my thing, and like, I'm still going, man. Let's try it. Still on frame, right? Yep. Oh my god! Charge, Joanna! A lot of dead guys. God, the, the arrow, the sound that the arrows make is like God slamming his car door. Like, normally, you can't get the kick and, like, the boom of a shotgun blast in a fantasy setting, but not really the case when an arrow is that big, you know? Because they stumble. I think when they get to half health, they must stumble. Yeah, it looks to be the case. Wow, so is this going to be nothing but the Brutes? I probably could have seen that on the level had I really examined it, but I was just like, yeah, sure, whatever. Okay. Okay, cool. Whoa! What happened there? Did a guy get kicked into the water? That was gnarly as hell. Okay, I'm going to need you guys to pick up, make up the, the difference of, of damage here. Please hit the targets. More than that, if that's alright with you. Get in there. These guys are gonna get slaughtered without you. Okay, cool, cool. Still fine, still fine, still fine. Just fresh. Oh, Jesus. Nope, go away. I want them to aggro onto these guys. And then you can come in. Oh boy. That got a little hairy, but that's okay. Another six to the pot. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. We're good, we're good. Oh, where are we going next? It's a very Icelandic sounding name. Okay, so one, two, one, two. Okay, cool. Let's go here because it doesn't have these guys with little quail faces. All right. You know what? I'll save my max level commanders. Okay, so they can't land here. They can't land there. Or there. They're sword masters, right? Ooh. 
Ooh, getting scared. Get them, boys. Okay. Pikemen get out. Swordsmen get in. Pikemen go here, actually. You just have to hold until you can get there, and then you'll slaughter. Ugh. This is cool. This is such an interesting idea for a game. There's so many cool things happening here. Okay. They're heading to that corner. Okay. Let's hope. Okay, you go reinforce them. Finding time to rest and replenish is very interesting. I guess this is supposed to simulate a battle that takes place over the course of a much longer period of time. Okay, you stand there. You support them. Hey, no one needs healing. Get him, boys. Get him, Adric. Oh, my God. You guys got kind of bodied, huh? Okay, three more swordmans. You go help them out. This is a max upgraded unit. You guys are not max upgraded. Okay. And even though they are max upgraded, there is only one of them. Okay. Hug that wall. Keep your cover up. Crap, crap, crap. I think they're landing. They should be, yeah. Okay. No, go in. Confirm that into a kill, guys. Oh, boy. Okay. Oh, that's interesting. Do you see that? The coins left shadow on the water. That's... I don't think that's supposed to happen. It's not there now. Ooh, all right. right. Oh, yeah. I actually found um, rum earlier. One, two, three, four. Okay. I'm going to pause it until something cool happens. I'll be right back. Hey, just a little check in here. Um, so we've got Tehestor, which has my next party member. And uh, coming up is Vermland. My last stand. Isn't that nice? So it looks like you can lose no more than, I guess, total, like, six guys. If you still want to field a full complement of troops. Which is interesting. Um, if it's guaranteed that you get ten... You start with two guys, and then you're guaranteed to get eight along the way. Oh my god. Look at this incoming unit. Oh, oh my god. That guy has two swords. So does that guy. Oh, are those little quail headmans? Okay, I hadn't noticed that they had different uh, weapons. I guess in the same way that I hadn't noticed that they had different swords. They seem to still take appreciable damage, but I guess they're a lot more dangerous in a fight. 
I guess that's why I've had people just like kind of massacre for me for a reason I'm not entirely sure why. And like, I guess that's why it's because they've got a real scary guy. Berserker, huh? I guess that must be it. The Vikings are some of the only um, group to actually use dual wielding in, in warfare. Since, you know, European knights didn't use it. Um, samurai occasionally used it, but they didn't have paired weapons. They had a big sword and a little sword. The style is called Daisho, um, I believe. Which just is Japanese for big and little. Like Dai is in Dai Katana, which just means big katana. And Sho is in Shota, which means small boy. Or Shonen, rather. Shonen is small boy. Pardon me. Um, also, sometimes you get Vikings who like have an axe and a sword. Right, let's get you to replenish. Let's get you to go fortify there. And you to go there. And they finish the fight, yeah. God, look at how many bloody boats there are. That's gnarly, man. And those are our couple of dual wieldmans. You stance up there. It's like a shotgun blast. Okay, that boat's empty. So you guys just be ready. Okay, you get ready. You guys go there. You guys go there. You hang back. Those are archers. Or spear throwers, I guess. They're now locked on on this crew, though, so maybe we can get you to shoot them. Whittle their health down a little bit more. And then you support. You go heal. Oh, gosh. Oh, God. You go there. You go there. Um, you help them. Actually, no. You were needed back here to help these guys. Okay, go help them. Quickly. <laughs> Quickly. Hurry. Battle to hit the field up here. You took that pretty hard. Oh, make sure you survive the fight, guys. Okay, they handled it pretty neatly down here. God, I looked away for a second. Go get him. Yowzas. Oh, gosh. And they don't stop coming. There we go. Go deal with that. You guys head this group off. You come help. Ooh. Go get that guy. Oh boy. Okay, what do we got? Got brutes coming in from this side. Okay. You guys go there. You guys go there. You guys go there. Archer, stay here. One's dead. That's fine. Oh, that's less fine. Okay, that's unacceptable. I'll restart it, but I'll do it off camera. Hey, so, um, I restarted it. Uh, just once. But I decided to go in with all upgraded guys, and I just want to show how much of a difference it makes. So this guy's actually a full upgraded archer, which is nice. Um, it looks like the further you go, the more upgrades people have. And those are the archers. Yeah. Big archer boys. See, last time we kind of got messed up a little bit by that. But this is really solid. 
The art style of this game reminds me of one of the games I played last season for Friday Night Roblox. I forget. I think it was called Overland. Okay. Now this could be trouble, but... If we can get them out of there soon enough... Actually, you go help them. Because now they've only got that boat to deal with. And that might be fine. Okay, okay. Keep shooting. Come down here and help. Ooh, we got more guys? Alright, all you come down here and help then. It didn't take a hit. What about you? What about you? Wow. Upgraded troops, man. Okay, this is the one that killed me, I think. Or killed one. Another thing that's a little annoying, sometimes it's difficult to select your troops when they're in cover. When they're just behind something. Which isn't, like, terrible. Um, it makes sense, but, like, sometimes it's just a little, yeah, you know. Get in there, guys. You go here. You guys go here. I do not think that we will have time. Okay. They're at full health and they're fully upgraded. These guys are not at full health, but they got the archers to help shotgun dudes out of the way. Okay, that's as much as they can do, so... them. <laughs> That's nice. Wow. Upgraded troop. Seeing both side by side, upgraded troops make such a difference. It's so stark. It's really cool. So we got Erlene. Skillful. New starting trait. All right. Um, wow, cool. All right, hey, I'm back. Um, let's rest just to make sure. And let's put any available upgrades on people. Oh, half price skills. That's useful. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, yeah, Henrietta died. Which is unfortunate, but a little unavoidable. Okay. Vermland. Put Erlene in there. Okay. Gonna be fighting all the warriors. Wow. Look at the clouds in the water. Yep. We got targets. Oh, that's a lot of guys. <laughs> This is apparently the last one, and presumably the hardest. They lost one. Oh wow, that guy dropped his shield and got bashed in the face. That's kind of dope. Okay, you go there. You go there, and you help him. What are you, berserkers? They're also berserkers. I've sent them to the wrong places, I think. Go help him, please. 
Dude, the way that they like fly onto them is kind of scary. They're so aggressive. Jeez, oh Pete. Okay. You have to be able to take these hits, guys. I would normally go to restock you, but that's not a luxury we have. You stand in all the blood. You help them. Cool. Useful. It's in tight to me. Sorry, I had to sneeze and I didn't want to pause it, so here we are. Uh, you restock. You come help. They tell you what exactly you'll be fighting with, but they don't tell you how many of it you'll be dealing with. Oh, their bows have a little have little details on them too. That's cool. Yep, oh, there's the next units. Run away. All right. Come on, fellas. Okay. Okay. You restock. All right. Now we got to fight them at the beaches. A lot of archers. Fly. Okay, you get ready to fight those dudes. Um, and you help. And you fight these guys. That's just a lot of big dudes. Hello, dear. Hey, it's my wife. Thank you. She's making sure my cat doesn't make a nuisance of himself, as he's often known to do. Can we volley all the way over here? We can. That's cool. <gasps> oh, we lost one. That sucks. Oh, man. Here comes the real one. Yeah, reset block. Oh, jeez. Okay, go help. They're archers, it should be fine. Oh, uh, it's not fine. Yeah, they're dead. Oh, man. Oh, they're dead. Okay, this is, this is, this is not going to happen. Who else can I even put on here? Um, yeah. Okay. be kind of nice if uh in like this big pitched battle that i think is the final one 
it would be cool if the other guys could come in when these dudes are killed. And if that was, in fact, like an intended uh, method of dealing with this. Okay, okay, good. Feeling it, feeling it. You get there, and you help. And you get there, and you help. Okay? Okay. Ooh, that's good. That damage, though. How about you help them, just in case? And you go stand somewhere else. Yeah, that's what I was that's what I was kind of banking on. I figured that the next one would be coming in pretty quick, so. Resupply. And you rain death from above. Careful guys. Alright, now bring it on. Lay it down on him. Oh, and of course, not a second to rest. You, meet him. You, be ready to shoot. You, go help. It's like, oh, there's only one of them in the boat, you know? It'll be easy. Wait, why is there only one of them in the boat? That was just such my reaction, you know? Just like... Hmm, that's... Funny. All right, that's another down. You go rest. You just got out of it. And you're good too. Cool. That's great. Okay. The game kind of almost doesn't want you to, like, be overseeing everything like you would in, like, an XCOM. They almost more want you to be ready to deal with things as they come, you know? Right, there's that one down. You guys go fortify up. Next one's coming in from there. Let's send Kenna in. Let's get you here. Let's have you there. Oh crap, those are archers, huh? Okay, after dealing with this... What take a chance? They'll handle archers, they've got shields. Okay. You guys work on them. As soon as they get out, you go reinforce where they were standing. Oh man, this is so tense. Help out over there, please. Actually, I don't know how much... Oh, they need help. Get on down. Oh boy, you go stand there and be ready to shoot. Actually, no, go heal. You guys stand there and be ready to handle shooters. You help them. You're at full health, that's great. And you just got out of the hospital, so you're at full health. That's also great. You go restock. Oh boy. Yeah. 
go bear them down. Ken is at full health, that's good. Oh, that's good. God, our ranks are getting all broken. Don't break ranks, guys. Come on. All right, you guys. You need to heal. Go there. Go there. Everyone stands up and be ready. And you, come here. Ready to arch at them. That's good. You survived the Viking Horde. Cool. 94. Jeez. Bad North. Victory. Nice. Easy. Killed almost 2,000 of them. Lost 533. Got 212 gold. Crew to 10. None of them survived. I visited and defended 36 islands. I fled zero. I got two checkpoints and I lost a checkpoint. Wow. Okay, cool. That's really cool. All right. Um, wow. That's Bad North Yoda Edition, everyone. Um, really solid game. I, I really enjoyed it. Um, it's a good blend of tactical and uh, not. Uh, the roguelike mechanics are all really good, and it's a very solid game. So I'm going to have some victory cake. Uh, my wife brought me this slice of cake. Probably can't see it very well. But yeah, um, Ivan Alfred, that's been Bad North, Yoden Edition. Uh, very good. Maybe not worth a buy at full price, but definitely when it's on sale. Uh, that's when I bought it. And... Uh, it was worth it. It's a good game. Uh, but I'll see you guys next time. This has been Friday Night Roguelikes, specifically. Um, I'm going to be doing something else next week. So, see you then. Bye.